two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. begin on the ground with Akers and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up so no gain on the play they'll decline the penalty to not give him the down back and were you thinking to yourself that maybe they would take the yardage there yeah, because possibly. I was I definitely was but as you noted maybe they're just looking at the downs chart and saying okay we're comfortable where we are Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Stafford going to put it up right away. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space. I drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. And this will be caught at the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 36 yards on the play. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes the starts right out of them. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight for the Rams at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. I don't care what game it is, everyone's always looking for an early advantage, an early break, and they almost had one there. That should have been an interception. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got on the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now Zap right back in the other direction. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Set. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Stafford looking to throw on third and one. Man open, it's Cup. he's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup with career touchdown number 60. And the Rams will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. Touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Well, this defense for the Rams, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And I think our statistician ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury and having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope they'll recover. They run it with Ward. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Taken down at the 43-yard line. A three-yard gain on the play. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Again on the ground, again it's Ward. That'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And he checks this one down to Williams. Will go down as a gain of six. And that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Stafford popping this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but 
they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To the air again, Stafford. Being fed a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. A good pickup there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. Here's Stafford. Try to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, he can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. One more time for Ward here, and he's got it again. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. And he jumped. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaking up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown, so 7-7 to score as they begin for... On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you're throwing this many interceptions. But that's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jalen Waddle, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14-7. to
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line and for this offense Charles you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time oh a hit he lost the football Stafford puts it on the ground dangerous spot for them to cough it up lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it they were already within a shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense sudden change sudden change that's not what you want to hear on your sideline that means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position and a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete as a corner you have to be able to run with guys step for step down field of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Third and long, it's Stafford. He finds his target, Allen. A crazy sequence here, a huge gain that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Fielded at about the 28. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. touchdown. 72 yards on the punt return. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 21 to 7. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. One yard gain brings up second and nine. At the nine. Three yard Here's second and nine. Stafford now to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing on third down, Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Stafford on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Brandon Jones picking it off. There he goes right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And that pick six, Charles, that moves it up now to a three touchdown advantage. A great individual defensive effort there to continue what has been a very lopsided first half. And I better buckle in my seatbelt, right? Because you know, as a former DB, when I see a pick six, I'm up and jumping up and down watching it. Yeah, I'm supposed to be neutral, but those kind of plays, they excite me every time. They are in absolute control in this one. Nice play there. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Ready. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And now here's another interception. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard. But also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be touchdown. Jalen Waddle with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fields this way up at the 17. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. At one, tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. Let's see if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And a big 32-yard play on third. Well, one thing's for sure. They're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on? And my goodness, another interception. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 41. Well, to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on. But it reminds me of a time that a former defense court. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now Stafford. They'll get this one to Cup complete. 
And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That goes for a gain of 31. And that certainly solidifies how to attack this two-minute drill right before the half. I don't think they were going to try and run out the clock. But now after that big play, their thoughts are certainly of trying to score and get some points before the half. And he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. 14 more yards. That's another Rams. Stafford looks to throw again. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Second and six. Throwing again on second down. Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Across the middle, and this pass complete to Cooper Cup. Touchdown, Rams! Cooper Cup as the first half is winding down. And the Rams are able to come into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And he's only going to get this to the four-yard line. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. They're going deep for Hill. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Play action. Now it's Tua. Steps away to his left. Throw left side caught here by Ward. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. They'll run on first down. Edmonds. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On the ground with Ward. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Here's Ward. 
And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. The Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. They'll keep it on the ground. More. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here we go, here we go. Watch out here, 50 series. Ready, Now Ward. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Off of play action. Tug of Iloa. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. A short kick taken at the 18. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. On first and 10, Stafford. And he fires one incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He's got Cooper Cup on the slam. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Stafford. He's got Allen. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Throwing a Stafford. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. To throw again on second down, Stafford. Well, that'll be caught by Cup, And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Out of the gun, Stafford. This is caught. And the Rams are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now Stafford. And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. C.J. Uzama, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are able to claw one back. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he'll send the tight end in motion left. Tua going to run again. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. And going deep for Hill. This is intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that... And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. To throw is Stafford. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. It's a gain of 34. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Stafford hooking up with Akers. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. He finds his man complete. It's Crawford, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 35. Again, at Stafford. Open man right side is cut, complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. From the red zone now, Stafford. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Keon Crossan. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is set.